I'm gonna go check on the painted products. Please do. Sir. Actually trying to stay down there. Who Does rain help? Does rain help? New, newly painted products? Yeah, to make them work better. What's going on, everybody? So last time we left off, we got the 7M in time. Uh, got the cam gears on. Yeah, that was pretty much it. <laughs> Wasn't it? Successfully stripped the bolt on the back. Oh yeah, we, we stripped the bolt on the back. Well, I did. Uh, and we put the oil pan on and found out that it was pretty bent up. So, stripping off all the silicone. Um, and Randall was able to hammer out the bent parts pretty well. So we're just trying to get all this silicone off of here. We're gonna throw that on. And then, um, yeah, I don't know what what what's after that. Nothing, cause something will break. Like your eye. It's healing quite nicely. <laughs> Did you read any of the comments? Yeah, I read a couple. Of them. <laughs> I like the overnight parts from Japan. Yeah, that one was pretty fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. So yeah, we're trying to get this, you know, closer to dropping back into the super over there, which isn't covered with mounds of trash today. I wanted to dump this. Yeah. <laughs> the same, bro. And scene. What you looking for? Wabbits. Wabbits. <laughs> Hunting wabbits. West Coast wabbits. Uh, it looks like right here. And still back there. Uh, it'll take two weeks to leave instead of one week. <laughs> the previous owner to this car is definitely a firm believer in our TV. Who needs gaskets when you have RTV? Well, they got gaskets and RTV on it. They double bag. thing I did last week with it. <laughs> Put it on so I find out something's messed up and then I gotta do it all over again. Mm. Is it all straight now? We will say straight-ish. I promise you, sometime in the near future, these cars will run. You got to think about the definition of near. How near is near? Next year near? A month near? I don't know, we're getting philosophical. <clears throat> Six months, 
to a year? Uh, a year? Probably that one. Six probably months to a year. Three. No. Yeah. Let's be realistic. So if you got a, I know last time I said, if you have a CRX that, or if you know somebody that has a CRX that they're willing to donate to the s &R Motoring Foundation um, to hit us up. But that goes for pretty much any car, but not like, you know, not like a, a Buick Century or a Cutlass Supreme. It has to be, uh, I guess, a Japanese car, if you will. If you got one, or if you know somebody that's got a modifiable, is that a word? Modifiable? Sure. Sure, yeah. Let us know, because we'll, if it's in within reasonable driving distance from South Carolina, we'll come pick it up and get it out of your driveway or garage so you don't get yelled at anymore. So we can get yelled at. Yeah, we have plans, or I have plans, for said car if we're able to find a free car. Stay tuned. picker soon the more stuff we add to it the more it starts leaning forward mm -hmm. you're trying to get it out of your garage don't worry mm. kind of i don't know i mean it's really not taking up that much room it's not like i'm working on my car anyway got a wire tuck fix finished no I got wiring diagram, solder filled butt connectors, and heat shrink tubing. So I can extend wires if I need to, and so just gotta do it. Right now, you just sit in the car and cry. And yeah. Hope it'll fix itself. Try and turn it on, even though it doesn't have a battery or anything. All right. So, oil pan is on. Maybe. The oil leak is on. I think you're fine. Huh? You put enough RTV on there for... <laughs> it's like an inch thick of RTV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to leak. You sure? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was a little spot, now it's a huge spot. I'm just progressively making it worse. Are 7 ms notorious for oil leaks or just head gaskets? Spending rods, oil leaks, all that. Good. You just misunderstood there, little 7 M. I mean, we're not mechanics, mechanics or professionals by any means. But we have a you know a little bit of common sense. That's good. Randall just told me that the previous owner that had this painted the intake manifold, but he didn't tape anything off. So all this was painted. All this was painted. I wouldn't have put it past him if that was painted. Like just don't do that kind of stuff.
And yes, it is very, 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 very fine grit sandpaper. She's, you don't want to use a Dremel? I do want to use a Dremel, but I don't have one. Oh. Someone stole mine. Someone stole it? Yeah. Who stole it? You. You what? took it. Yes, you did. It was mine. No, I bought for it. Amazon no, for $20. You took it. Didn't. Believe what you want to believe. All right. Now what? All pans on. All right. On the next episode of S and R Motor, we put one part on. Let's see here. Where, if I was an exhaust manifold, where would I be? Exhaust manifold. Ugh. Oh my god, how much does this thing weigh? Like 500 pounds? Cast, baby. Cast. Oh. So we couldn't get all the paint off. So for time's sake. For painting over that. Just painting <laughs> over it. In true SNR fashion. Just sweep it under the rug. If uh can't beat them, join them. Yeah. But we're actually taping stuff off. Or Randall's actually taping stuff off. So that, you know, most of the gaskets will seal. Not the head gasket. You said it. I wasn't even gonna say anything. Everyone in YouTube bland was thinking it. Speaking of blown head gaskets, we have a new shirt inspired by the Notorious B.I.G. Instead it says Notorious B.H.G. It's got a picture of 7M on it. You should go check it out at snrmotoring.com and buy it. Just don't like it, buy it. That's my new model. Just don't like it, buy it. Okay. For a limited time too, we're not running that forever. Yeah. If you didn't hear him, it's, it's only gonna be up there for a limited time. We only have a limited amount of shirts, a limited quantity, if you will. So. All right, if we sell a bunch of them, then yeah, we'll keep it up there, but yeah. But yeah, go check it out, snrmotoring.com. Link is in the description, as always. You gotta, remember, you gotta make sure you do the stance right. I don't... Is that, is that it? No. Yeah, it's, it's, that's exactly right. Yeah, you gotta have proper the Proper stance. Okay. Do I have to jump like that every time? That's that's if you want to customize it. Because I kind of enjoy it. Like if you wanna, I like the jump, I feel like I'm, I'm getting into it. If you want to customize the stance, that's entirely up to you. But you do have proper leg uh, width, and the elbow is on the knee. Yeah, you're doing good. Okay. How about the angle? Do I have the proper degree? Yeah, since it's down low, it's fine. You stop jumping. I'm in concentration mode. Oh. Just lay it on there thick like. Let's go take that up. You don't want to paint those? I don't got a different color for this. Oh. A different color? Different well, you got color. cosmic purple? <laughs> for you, Jeff. Throwback. Epic Motorsports. Oh! Ooh, one step closer to having turbo on it. Turbo!
that? That doesn't look like a 7M dipstick. It's not. What is it? Big block Chevy. 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 Chevy parts on 7M. Chevy parts on 7M. Uh. The beast. GT35 is hardly a beast. That's pretty big. Bigger than a 16G. Get a bigger turbo. No, I think that'll. I think that'll clear it. I mean, it's kind of a hard bend, but it's not too bad. No, that's it's a nice swooping action. Swoop. All right. Look that there. Still need to test that wastegate. See if it works ebay turbo heck yeah what kind of turbo is it ebay gt3582 for all of you that are wondering never been used yeah it was used one time, one time. and, and it's it never been boosted no it wouldn't build boost but at the same time it uh didn't have compression it did have compression it was bleeding compression back into it uh I think that'll work. Cool. I'm gonna go check on the painted products. Please do. Sir. Does rain help? Does rain help? Pa new, newly painted products? Yeah, to make them work better. Is it raining? It's drizzling. It hadn't rained for like three months here in Myrtle Beach and all of a sudden the day that we paint something, it starts raining. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop making fun of... It's just not right. Well, you're afraid you're gonna lose the race? That's why I gotta get a bigger turbo. Well, that's why I said we should do like three, three challenges. Instead of just the only one that matters is the draft race, and you know it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But and you have a built motor, and I have a stock one. All right. You said all right. Um, for the dipstick, uh, Drift Motion sells a flexible one that's already done modified to fit the factory one but i bought a big block chevy and drilled a half inch hole in the existing and it slid in done how much was that it was like 30 bucks for that compared to the drift motion 140 something oh wow or 100 so, bucks so you saved about a hundred dollars by doing that yeah but it's i mean like I was completely guessing at the whole thing and I had to drill into the block, the factory block. So, so if you ain't scared, get the big block Chevy. Right? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to get at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know where that even came from. It's a lack of coffee, I guess. That's gonna be touching. Problem solved. <laughs> And nothing accomplished again, except for an exhaust manifold and an oil pan. Well, it wasn't entirely our fault. Mother the, Nature. The, the downpour that we just had <laughs> prevented us from putting a second coat on the, well, putting us, it prevented us from painting. Yeah. Because it, you know, just like paint, paint and water, they, they mix very well. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. So next week, I mean, if my mounts come in and I've got that finished being put together, I still got a pressure wash. No. No. Yeah, next week is unknown. There will be a video, but we don't know where it's gonna be at yet. Not yet. No. We never really 
know until the night before anyway. <laughs> we don't plan this stuff out at all. It's all scripted, yeah. everything. So everything we're saying right now has been scripted for months. But yeah, we want to talk at you for a second. Um, who remembers back in like the early 2000s, mid 2000s, the Nopi Nationals? And the Super Street Tour. Super Street Tour is so much fun. Yes. They, they need to do that again. But anyway, over the years, I guess pretty much when the economy tanked in like 2008, so did the no Novi Nationals. Um, but recently, a few years ago, they started holding the Novi Nationals again here in Myrtle Beach at the Speedway, over that way. Um, but the Nopi Nationals used to be like crazy builds, like awesome cars, mini trucks, just out of this world stuff. Like performance. Yeah, performance. performance. Like 6,000. I remember when. Who's the guy from uh, Best Motoring that we saw? We saw someone from Best Motoring? Yeah, he was drifting out there. Uh, not the Drift King, but the other guy that... Oh, uh, Arito? Yeah, Arito was out there. If you don't know who that is, look him up. Um, but yeah. Rado was out there too. Yeah, Chris Rado. Yeah, we had Chris Rado. And the guys from uh, Mischief. Mischief TV. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, since over over the years and everything, they started holding it, holding an event, Anopi Nationals, in Myrtle Beach. Uh, first year was okay. There was an okay turnout of cars, but it gradually turned into these lifted, not, I wouldn't even say lifted trucks. Squatted trucks. Squatted trucks. Trucks with their clapping exhaust. And they just like took over the event. And, you know, I heard, I heard last year that Nobi Nationals actually shut down the drifting competition because they oversold spots for these trucks. So, with all that being said, there's um, our drifting series here in Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach Drift Series. They're wanting, this is, is it isn't uh, set in stone yet, I would guess. It's just kind of sparking interest. They're trying to see well, they want to start their own Nopi, bring back those crazy builds and all that good stuff. So, if you want more information on it, check out uh, Myrtle Beach Drift Shit Series. I'll put their information in the in the uh, description. But yeah, how cool would that be? Like another Nopi Nationals, like a real one, and it. You would like to see another super street just make a comment yeah another street tour just just throw a comment in there because maybe something will be in the works there maybe yeah big maybe yeah but. Big. i remember one year we went <laughs> well we we would we would go to daytona it would start in fort lauderdale i think yeah it would go up but we would we would start in daytona and go up to atlanta and one year we went to like the inky wheel factory that was a tour. Cool. that was awesome man. that was like, pretty sweet just it was just awesome. Just like this whole pack of cars just driving up the interstate. It was, it was pretty cool. But yeah, so if you're interested in the Nopi, they're calling it Jopi, because uh, there's a guy, Joseph Love. He's a he's a, a drifter. I think he's in Pro 2 mm -hmm. FD now. I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah. Um, he's, he, he just won like four events, so they're calling it Jopi for... Yeah, Joe. his name, Joe, <laughs> Opie. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're interested in that, um, and even if you're like a, a company that wants to help with it, to be at the event and whatnot, just to make this you know really big for the first time, um, like I said, their information's gonna be in the description, so. That's all I got to say. Okay. And don't forget in the comments about the street tour. Yeah. Just say if it would be something that yeah, if you might, be, might be interested in. We, you know, 
Maybe we got something in the works. Yeah. Maybe. We'll try to. Maybe. Not like next month or anything <laughs> like that, but. No. Maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year put together something. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Head on over to snrmotoring.com and check out our notorious BHG shirts inspired by the the man, the myth, the myth, legend, Biggie Smalls. Um, and 7Ms. And 7Ms and their blown head gaskets. Uh, yeah, that's it. See you next week. See ya. Bye. <laughs>